hello and welcome back to Sarah Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season 2, episode 3 of Breaking Bad and this one's called Bit by a Dead Bee. <laughs> so yeah, last episode was a, a continuation of a terrible week for Jesse and Walt. Their first big deal ended with Tuco beating to death for someone and then him trying to get them to bring him back to life that didn't work and now his other colleague <laughs> is dead and Tuco went off the went off the deep end and thinks that Jesse and Walt did it so he brought them to some remote house with his uncle who you know I was not fooled for a second <laughs> I'm so stupid you can't get me <laughs> the rest of the family are understandably worried although I'm really annoyed at myself for calling Hank Frank like that whole last episode but to be fair this one called Frank and True Detective and I do watch that before this so I'm gonna blame it on that. <laughs> they think he's gone off to kill himself but you know we know the real reason. Uh, but yeah I mean Hank came and saved the day and killed Tuco but is this place gonna be like a crime scene now? Aren't like family members supposed to be coming of Tuco's? Also isn't Jesse's car ruined? How are they gonna get back? Lots of questions so enough chatting and let's get into it shall we? I love this uh, clear false ground thing. Oh, the berry in the cup. What's he left, Jesse? Are they separating on purpose? Maybe he's thinking of a way to. Uh, make it look like he's kidnapped. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You killed some guy, some big drug dealer. Uncle Hank wasted him. Oh my god, is he alright? <laughs> Absolutely fine. Jesse can't go home. Don't mess with me! Got it! It's a very stressful yeah. time for Jesse right now, okay? I got it! <laughs> it's page after page of side effects and, and warnings. Mm. And Could it be that simple? George! Mm. We'll take another look at that. Shush! You found my car? Awesome! DA all the way! Yes! <laughs> oh. 67,900 and uh, dollars. What's that matter? I know you. You're the one in the black truck. You wanted me to do that kid. What? The kid with the crutches. <laughs> the football player. How about we stay on topic? Look. How about feelings of guilt or persecution? No, look, doctor, I don't want to be rude, but... <laughs> it's May Wilkins or Buffy! <laughs> You're starting a process, Walt, an ongoing process. So, being found naked in a supermarket, that was your way of giving credibility to a lie? Of avoiding questions about your disappearance? Was this man at your house yesterday? Is he gonna say yes? Oh, what? Senor, was this man at your house yesterday? Hey, would you wanna help us out? <clears throat> oh. I mean, considering Hank was the one that. Oh. What, you telling me you buy that lame ass story is? I buy that lame ass story more than I buy it. He had anything to do with shooting Tupo. All right. So we can cook. 
You That's still something new. <laughs> Seriously. What's changed, Jesse? I've got no fire. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone wearing all the same colour? <laughs> or am I seeing things? Except Thanks. for him in the middle. What's this? You got the butt right. Hey, you sick, sick fucking get out of it. What was it? You Why didn't they show me? <laughs> Drink it. That, that sounds good, yeah. Sounds real good, huh? I'll tell you what, I'm glad you're back. You know, you gave us a scare. That's good, yeah. Good, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Going out there looking for me puts you in danger, and you're gonna disappear more often. <laughs> Just kidding. He's so uh, awkward, okay. isn't he? They gave me. They gave me. What is it? <laughs> that gentleman <laughs> is the grill of the guy I shot. <laughs> the grill? Yeah, it's uh, kind of like a little oh, front teeth like that, you know. Sort of a, a fashion statement, I guess. Um, say, honey, um, I was just thinking about going out to 7-Eleven. Do you need anything? You came in and I was taking bath and you were very upset. But one thing I am sure of is I only have a second cell phone. <laughs> yes, that was season two, episode three of Breaking Bad. I like that we didn't skip over the consequences of what happened because I know a lot of the shows do kind of like brush things under the rug after stuff happens and the next episode they kind of time jump instead of writing you know consequences and what would happen <laughs> and actually thinking about scenarios which I appreciate because it reminds me of season one when they had more of this type of stuff because this season so far has definitely been explosive <laughs> well the murders <laughs> the kidnappings and the chew outs but they're also not forgetting the good stuff from the previous season which was the character study stuff which I appreciate. I did wonder what they were going to do because you know everything was a complete mess last episode but I think when Walt went in the back of that truck and went off I was like yeah they've got they've got like a plan. I'm glad it worked although I I don't know Hank's kind of like a you know he's an awkward guy He's bravado, he's, but he's smart. He has smart moments. He figured out what happened when that guy got his arm stuck and everything fell. And he's, you know, he's, he's in charge. So, you know, he's, he's not dumb. I just wonder when or if he will figure it out or it all out. <laughs> I can't imagine he wouldn't. I feel as though if someone in the DEA was to figure it out, it would be Hank. But we'll have to see with that one. <laughs> yeah, so full length on daily access available on patreon.com slash Sarah and I'll see you next time.